I'm Charles Roberts with Kuhn Real Architects. Um, welcome to this presentation of the proposed addition to the North Amherst Public Library. Um, we're working closely with the town um, and we've gone through several iterations during the course of an initial feasibility study, which we are now pleased to share with you at this time. Um, the three primary goals of the project are pretty straightforward. Um, first, we wanted to create accessibility for the library. Currently, the only entrance is located up several steps to a front porch on the south side of the building. Second, we wanted to provide accessible bathrooms. Right now, there's only a single staff bathroom located in the basement at the bottom of a very difficult uh, to navigate set of stairs. And uh, the third thing we really wanted to do was create a community meeting space capable of accommodating 40 to 50 people in a comfortable, flexible, and uh, accessible setting. So uh, this photograph really sets the tone for the beloved character of the library. It stood the test of time at the confluence of Montague and Sunderland Roads for 130 years. It's designed in the Queen Anne style by Putnam Field Roswell, an architect born in Leverett in 1840 and was built in 1893 uh, by the North Amherst Library so Association and then turned over to the Jones Library in 1925, who's been running it uh, ever since. Stepping into the library is really like entering into a time capsule with their innate shelving and woodwork and cozy nooks for sitting and getting lost in the world of books. Um, our task was to acknowledge the history and sense of this cherished place while bringing it into the modernity for everybody to enjoy. Um, this is the, the site plan. So you're, it's oriented uh, in the north-south direction. So this is north and this is south. Here's, uh, here's Sunderland Road branching off in this direction and Montague Road to the right here. This is the existing library right here. The addition is located immediately to the north of, of, of the existing library. New parking is being provided um, to the north. We're, we're gonna be demoing some of the existing parking lot, planting new lawn and grass to the north of there, and then creating a, a nice garden landscape entry into the new library and uh, accessible parking immediately adjacent to the entrance. You can see that the, uh, the, the main form of the addition is separated from the existing library with this narrow connector element, which we'll, I'll show you in floor plan in, in a moment. And uh, separating the, 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 the main form of, of the new building from the existing building helps architecturally and structurally um, in terms of maintaining the integrity of, of the library as it exists currently. Um, so in the floor plan here, the, you, know, you arrive by car, foot, or bicycle. Um, you arrive here at the, at the main entry portal. You're welcomed into an entry lobby with the meeting room opening here immediately off to your, um, your left as you're entering in. Um, on the right side here, there are, there's storage, um, book drop-off areas, and new accessible bathrooms here. Um, as you, as you arrive, you sort of, you, you center in on this connector piece here I was, I was sort of describing earlier. This has a, a wheelchair lift that brings you up to the main level of the library and also a main processional set of, set of stairs that's centered on the opening, which kind of brings you into the main reading room of the existing library itself. There's also a set of stairs that go down into the basement, um, as does the wheelchair lift. The, uh, the basement's not open to the public at this time, but we did want to provide um, access and accessibility down to that level um, for any kind of future program that might develop. Um, this is a section um, that describes sort of the, the different floor relationships of, of, the, of the addition and the existing building. So the addition is here on the left, you come in through the entry um, into, the, into the lobby as we were describing earlier. And then that connection piece is what brings you up and sort of uh, navigates the difference in grade between the uh, the, uh, the new building and the existing library itself, which is actually um, you know, uh, three to four feet above the existing grade, which is kind of what's necessitating this, uh, this, um, this addition. This is the, uh, the east elevation of the building uh, of the existing library and, and our building, the library is on the left, that the connector piece is here in the middle and the new, uh, the new addition is on the right. And uh, what we wanted to do was create an architecture for the addition that complemented the original building without replicating or overwhelming it. 
the addition uh, at 1,190 square feet is actually slightly larger than the library itself, which is 920 square feet. Um, by pulling uh, the primary form of the new building away from the existing library and orienting the plan in the east-west direction, the addition is largely secondary to, to the existing library, um, uh, whose main uh, floor level, as I mentioned earlier, is four feet higher. With the addition tucked in behind the library, the original building remains visually unchanged from the southern approach and is framed by the welcoming presence of the new structure as visitors enter from the north parking lot. Um, and this, this is that view. So this is the north elevation um, that sort of greets you as you, as you are, are entering from the parking lot. Uh, we maintain the roof pitch and window types of the existing building as well as the use of projecting gabled roof bays to provide scale and character. The Queen Anne style of the existing library is characterized by the use of shingles, clapboards, paint and trim, and ornamental detailing around eaves and windows. So we took our cues really from the existing building by also using shingles on the addition, but we're proposing to stain them a clear finish that expresses the natural quality of the material without trying to impersonate the library itself. This is the, the west elevation. Um, uh, the, you can see the trim is painted in proportion similar to that on the library. This is, you know, our trim is here in the green and the trim work you'll see on the, on the library is this lighter buff color. Um, the dark standing seam metal roof anchors the building uh, and, and provides the same sense of permanence as the slate roof on the existing library while creating an architecturally cohesive expression of materials for the addition, again, honoring the spirit of the library without, without imitating it. Um, this is this is a rendering sort of from the northwest looking looking towards the entry. So you can see it's landscaped and very welcoming, convenient, accessible parking. Um, there'll be bike racks located over here in this corner. So it really becomes a nice congregational focal point for folks as they arrive. Um, this project is below the threshold of Amherst and net zero design requirements for public buildings. However, the envelope of the addition is designed to be airtight and well insulated with triple glazed windows raised hill trusses for increased insulation, insulation levels in the roof, continuous rigid insulation board on exterior walls to reduce thermal bridging and rigid insulation under the slabs as well. Um, lighting will be provided by new energy efficient LED fixtures throughout, new heating and cooling systems, including the existing library will be electrically based high performance air source heat pumps, making the building net zero ready. The nature of the site and orientation structures don't necessarily lend themselves to on-site uh, photovoltaic power generation. However, off-site PV options may be available that would help the building achieve uh, net zero energy consumption. It's another sort of view um, from, from the Southeast, again, sort of giving you a sense of the Northern arrival of the, of the, of the addition. Um, so, this, we, this project is being made possible by private funds generously provided by an anonymous donor. The library will hopefully start construction in the fall. Um, we're very excited to be involved in this project and grateful for the opportunity to help create a new community center for North Amherst. Um, in addition to simply providing new bathrooms and accessibility, this project will refocus the neighborhood on this beautiful historic gem of the library sitting right um, at its doorstep. Thanks for your interest in learning about the design for the North Amherst Library Edition. For more information, you can uh, visit the town website or, or contact the town offices. Thank you very much.